Hi, I'm Major Marbles, and I want to make this quick video. If you are still a part of the FNAF fandom, you're probably aware of the musical artist The Living Tombstone. His FNAF songs are arguably the most popular and well-known songs in the fan base. Recently, he's released his fourth and final song for the Five Nights of Freddy series. Now, you might be a fan of his music, or you might hate him for whatever reason. Quite personally, I found his new FNAF song to be lacking in quality. The lyrics only have the loosest connection to FNAF 4. The only things relating to the game are brief descriptions about the game's story. But that's when I realized something. The real meaning behind the song, and how it is not in fact a FNAF 4 song, but rather a song expressing the living tombstone's frustrations with having to make a new FNAF song. Disclaimer, this is my own analysis of the song, and may truly not represent the intended meaning by the living tombstone. It is in my personal belief that this song is about the living tombstone's frustrations with his own fan bases, cleverly disguised as a simple FNAF song. Let's analyze the first verse of the song. Now, if this song applies to FNAF 4, how do these lyrics line up with the game? Because if this song is trying to stay true to the story of FNAF 4, there seem to be a few inconsistencies with the song. Most especially the line, And I'm regretting having memories of my friends who they used to be beside me before they left me to die. If this applies to FNAF 4, who are these so-called friends the singer is referring to? Your mind might jump straight to the plushies in the crying child's room. I think this is what the living tombstone wanted you to do. But as you might remember, these plushies never left the boy, but rather took the form of nightmarish creatures. You might think this song refers to the end of the game where the plushies leave the boy, but I want to offer up a different analysis of the lyrics. The first lyrics are, I've got no time, I got no time to live, I got no time to live and I can't say goodbye. As you may or may not know, Living Tombstone has been under a lot of pressure to make this song, constantly being told by fans to dedicate his time to making this song. The line, and I can't say goodbye, I believe refers to how the Living Tombstone views the situation. He can't just not make a song after he promised to make it, or people will continue to bother him about it. He feels guilty about the situation he's in. And I'm regretting having memories of my friends who they used to be, besides me, before they left me to die. I believe this line refers to some anger from the living tombstone, wishing that he had stopped having thoughts about the people who stopped following his music. In this case, the huge amount of FNAF fans who followed him just to get more FNAF music. And now he sees these friends, the subscribers that said he liked his work, essentially leaving his channel, leaving him to die, because he's not making the kind of music they want. This part of the song has probably the most FNAF related lines, but can also be used in my analysis. And I know this, I know this is the truth, because I've been staring at my death so many times. I want to take a brief moment to expand upon my idea that this is not just Living Tombstone's response towards the FNAF fans that want him to make more FNAF songs, but towards the idea that this song is a response toward his displeasure with how fandoms in general act towards him. If you didn't already know, before making a few songs for the FNAF fandom, the Living Tombstone was also involved in the MLP fandom, making a ton of songs for with his channel becoming extremely popular because of it. These lyrics show that the Living Tombstone knows that people will leave his channel after he stops making FNAF songs, because he's seen the same thing happen to him after he left MLP fandom and stopped making songs for them. Reference in the line where he says, been staring at death, which shows the people leaving him so many times. These scary monsters roaming the halls, I wish I could just block the doors and stay in the bed until the clock will chime. I think this is a further expression of the living tombstone's feelings being expressed via the game FNAF 4, with the monsters roaming the halls being the fan bases that who are essentially stalking him to make the content they want to see, and the wish to block the doors, meaning to find a way to shut up the pressure from his fans, and stay in bed, showing a wish to stop pushing himself to make these kind of songs, and just relax. I feel like the chorus also helps demonstrate the stress the Living Tombstone feels when making and releasing these songs. So my flashlight's on, and I'll stay up till dawn. The Living Tombstone has to work night upon night, all until morning, 
just to get these songs done. I got this headache and my life's on the line. His headache alludes to the stress he feels and the quote, life's on the line, shows that he feels that if he doesn't make these songs, that people won't like him as an artist anymore. I felt like I won, but I wasn't done. This line refers to the fact that when the Living Tombstone releases a song for the fan bases that requested it, he feels happy at first because the pressure is finally gone, until he realizes that it's not over yet. The nightmare repeats itself every time. This shows the next step of releasing a video. People aren't satisfied with his music, or perhaps too satisfied, and now the fan base once again wants another song from the Living Tombstone, and the nightmare of stress repeats itself. Gotta keep calm and carry on. He tries not to get frustrated by the frequent request and carries on with his life. Stay awake until the sun will shine. He stays awake looking at the comments of his videos. But I'm not strong, and they're not gone. But even after such a long period of time, the fans are still there and are still begging Living Tombstone for a new song for their fan base. No Living Tombstone just can't take it. They're still out there to take what's left of mine. The fans are still pushing at him, trying to take more of his time to make what they want him to make. Now, you might find my analysis a bit sketchy and might make the claim that this song could still fully apply to FNAF 4. Let me present you with the second verse. A verse that in my opinion makes absolutely no connection with FNAF 4 or the FNAF franchise as a whole and seemed at first glance to me to be nothing but lyrical nonsense. urge to kill? Who in FNAF 4 had an, an urge to kill? And what does this song mean by the singer getting sick of apologies from people who believe their priorities overpower his own? No one in FNAF 4 is in this kind of situation, and that's because it's not about a character in FNAF 4, but rather about the living tombstone himself. <laughs> I have this urge to kill, I have this urge to kill, I have this urge to kill and show that I am alive. The Living Tombstone is absolutely frustrated, and he wants to express his frustration and show people that he's not just a soulless machine that lives to make music for people, but a human being who's under too much pressure. I'm getting sick from these apologies. Living Tombstone is sick from having to apologize for not making songs on time, because in truth, he didn't want to make the songs in the first place. From people with priorities, their lives matter so much more than mine. The Living Tombstone is also expressing that these people who demand songs from him overlook the Living Tombstone's own life and feel like their wish for a new song should be the top of his priority list. But I'm stuttering. I'm stuttering again. No one will listen, and no one will understand. The Living Tombstone is trying to express his wish to not appease a fan base, but no one seems to get the message. Because I'm crying as much as I speak, because no one likes me when I shriek. This line shows that this is obviously an emotional struggle for that the Living Tombstone has with his music-making process, feeling as if he can't express his true feelings, shriek, or people won't like him. And finally, want to go back to when it all began. This refers to the Living Tombstone's wishes that he never got involved in a fandom. It could, this line could be directed towards various fandoms. And now he wishes that he could go back in time to a time where he made music that made him happy rather than music that just made other people happy. I don't know if this is a correct analysis of the song. I could be completely wrong and this song could just be a simple song about FNAF 4. But I firmly believe this is a song that goes past another pandering fandom song but it's really a cry of frustration toward the creative struggle of trying to grow as an artist while still being tied and pulled down by the fandoms that got you where you are. It's not a song about FNAF 4. It's a song about making a song about FNAF 4. Thank you for listening. <laughs>